I, I, I really hate where I live. Uh, it's awful. I take the subway all the time, which is a nightmare. Um, like I was on the subway the other day and it was like super crowded and this one guy got on and he was like, he was, he was the most drunk you could be and still walk around. Like, and of course he stands like right on top of me. And like, he's like so close to me, like our, belly, our bellies are rubbing together, you know? Like we're getting like that intimate, which is not what I was looking for that day. <laughs> like I, I didn't get on the subway and I was like, I hope I rub bellies with a drunk smelly man. But that's what I got. And the thing is like we're standing there, we're waiting for the train to go and this guy he starts doing this. He's super drunk and he starts going, Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and I was like, what do I do? Like, I can't just ask him not to do it. Can't be like, please don't throw up on me, sir. That's not going to stop him. So what I did was, uh, we're standing there waiting for the train to go. They make the announcement, like, please stand clear of the closing doors. And I, uh, I pushed him off the train. <laughs> and I was like, welcome to New York, buddy. <laughs> and then I asked him to marry me. But I get in here. All right. No, but I, I do, I drink a lot, um, but uh, like, I, I feel you guys all agree with this. Like, you shouldn't drink and drive. Um, thank you for the support, man. <laughs> <laughs> it went awkward if I was like, you shouldn't drink and drive, so I went, no! You're like, oh, you're all monsters, but you are not monsters. I'm easily distracted, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but like, you shouldn't drink and drive. Like, that's a thing you shouldn't do. And I would never drink and drive. But, if you ever do, let me tell you, best feeling in the world is when you pull in your own driveway. Right? You get home and it's just like, I'm safe. <laughs> like, even if the cops show up at that point, it's like, hey, guess what? I got my hand on my front door, and that's base. You can't arrest me when I'm at base. That's ridiculous. I'm safe. And I got home, so you have to give me $200. You are the worst police officers in the world trying to arrest me. I won the game. <laughs> like, I get so confident when I get home, I'll call the cops myself at that point. <laughs> They're like, hey, guess what you missed, idiots. <laughs> and they're like, sir, you really need to stop calling us. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and also learn the law, because you're wrong about everything. <laughs> <laughs>